The slider is hit a long way deep to left field, and this one is way, way out of the ballpark. A Warhawk whack by Mason Holt, and that's number five, and he literally hit it out of sight. He hit it off the right side of the scoreboard out in left field. Devin Fontenot hung a 2 2 get out of him at least four out of every five times. This has not been a good start. King Fish, well represented. Oh, what a play. Stabbed on the backhand side. The third baseman can't get it to Doty on time. Jacob Berry made one heck of a play. A liner to left center field, and that is uh, caught a play. sliding play by Gavin Dugas. Throw back to second. Safe on a close play. A late swing and a miss, and Fontenot on four pitches. It's from Devin Fontenot. Runners moving. And it's a call third strike. Fontenot fan lead and among the leaders in the SEC. This is down in front of the left fielder. Doty opens the game for LSU with a single to left. Fair share defensively, which has been strange this year. Morgan rips that one to right. It's going to carry all the way out to Trace Henry for the first out. Base hits. Here's Dylan Cruz. He's first pitch swinging. And that goes right through the wickets of DeVille. Doty is on his way to second base. He'll make it. Cruz makes the turn at first, but retreats. Just seems like Barry has a much more natural swing from the left side. He drives in a run with a solid knock to right field. And to answer your question, you're able to play deeper in the hole. One out. A liner to right center field. That's down for a base hit. It rolls all the way to the warning track. One Tiger scores. Two Tigers score. Here comes a third Tiger. And the LSU Tigers have responded in the bottom of the first inning. It's now seven. Joe Bear has. It's now five. That's a chop over the third baseman's head. Dugas drives in a run. He's on his way to second base. Here's the throw. Dugas slides. He is safe at second base. A number down to the shortstop. Out at first base on a very close play. A three-run double by Jobert and an RBI double by Dugas. This is scorched into left field. Travinsky kept battling and battling and battling and finally got a pitch he could. He went back with the breaking pitch again, and it's lifted very high in the air. And field. And Cupid draws another base on balls. Swing and a miss. Schultz never really got fully extended. That breaking pitch didn't miss by much. Right there on the borderline. And oh, oh you could have called that one a strike. I mean, he, uh, I, I think he did go break the plane. And he definitely did that time. Swing and a miss. On a changeup, Bittmeyer threw several of them in that inning. That's a pro prospects over the years. Jordan Thompson hits one up the middle, backhanded by the second baseman. Nicely done. Jobert slaps it. And the flip to first base. The inside, a 3-1 was down. And then Dugas says, thank you. This one is sailing into the night. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. The third home run of the season for Gavin Dugas. He did not like the previous two calls against him, and he responds with a line drive home run down the left field line. Boy, you talk about quick hands and a short, compact swing. I mean, he grounded a shortstop last time, and he's called out on the strikes. Tailgate on the, on the banks of the river. Cruz lines this one up, and there's the first out. And you're passing. This is going to be a difficult play. Ooh. Safe at first base. Travis Washburn. Grace Henry an opportunity. And that ball gets by and rolls beyond the first base. And Washburn moves up on the pickoff attempt. On a galloping and then diving catch by Dylan Cruz in center field. Doty in a do or die play on the backhand side. Can't make it. That's he has struck out four times. This time he gets the bunt down with two strikes. Second baseman is covering. 
Here is another one headed deep to left field. Way, way back it goes. It's gone. Mason Holt muscles up one more time. Well, we'll have a night. Why not? Why don't you, Mr. Holt? Home runs number five and six tonight. And Holt drives in a couple with that swing. There should be a play on this on the left side. Barry backs up and in foul ground he's got it. Pitch to Doty. Lifted foul out of play. Well it's in play and a Ooh. good catch by the first baseman. Archberger. Jackie Robinson Ooh. takes one off his back. It bounces to the first baseman. Oh, my goodness. And Archberger beats Trey Morgan to the bag. That's the second. Let's see if anybody can get to it. It is Jacob Berry backing up and moving to his left 30 years ago. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> Cooper finds the inside edge after working away. Full. That rips the inside edge, and Matthew Lee is called out on strikes. A one, two, three inning. Joe Bear waits. He swings. He drives it deep. Way up. Way up. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Braden Joe Bear is swinging Excalibur at the plate right now. As he homers again, he's coming off a huge weekend against Florida, and Braden Joe Bear has lost another baseball. There's ball four. Dugas is able to coax a walk times. Dugas is on his way to second. Travinsky gets the bunt down. This will move both base runners. A nice play by in batting practice. He leads the team in that category. This will be plenty deep enough to score the runner from third. It is grabbed by Henry in right field. The throw goes back to the infield, but both runners advance. But got it done on Saturday and Sunday against Florida. That's getting it done. There's heat at 98 according to the scoreboard. That's 98 is Schultz. He puts it in play. Jordan Thompson cannot make the play after roaming to his left in a hurry. That's hit on a hop and scooped up by Morgan, and the inning is over. Count. And that one got away from him. He went back with the bender. After if you're under a third year college and all that, there's another hit by Pitts, so. Saturday at one. That breaking pitch curls in off the leg of Thompson. So Here comes the runner from third, and he scores standing up on a misplay at the plate. He hits another one. He hits it high. He hits it deep. Will it stay in the ballpark? You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. And words are getting difficult to describe the power and the frequency of the long balls and base hits by Braden Jobert. Dugas lofts it to center field. Holt is drifting to his left. And there is out number one. We've seen him in the outfield. Changeup is snared by Engelman. And the underhanded toss results in out number Up the elevator shaft it goes. Who wants it? Holt does in center field. There's another breaking ball. Barry from one corner to the other. Five toe touches. That's. But a good breaking ball. Got a couple outs tonight with the breaking ball. Cruz drifts to his left. He squeezes it with two hands. Oh, one for three with an RBI and a run scored. Very ready at the plate. And he draws a base on balls. Cranford and Leto and Stevenson aboard. And the merry-go-round continues. 
Up it goes deep to left center field and it's caught out there by the left fielder Cupid. Runner tags at third and advances and crosses the plate. Joe Bear hits it high, but it's not going to leave the ballpark this time. Caught in deep right field by Henry. The runners hang on. Malazzo lifts it to right field, and Henry is out there. To Cole Strombo making his first at bat. That's lined to left field, and Josh Pearson is there. On April 8th, 9th, and 10th. Floyd takes care of business with more heat. And the Tigers have taken advantage of just about every opportunity. And there is the third strike. Ty Floyd comes on and gets the Warhawks one, two, three, including a couple of strikeouts. So 15-4 is the final score. Ronnie Ranch, your final comment.